I forgot to record an intro to my channel so hi welcome welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new and um, please hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell if you want to see more of this um thanks for watching I'm brunette again yeah I don't know how I feel about it but had to be done I get told my hair would never stand another bleaching so here we are so I'm going to do this look onto this eye, just the same old, same old. Um, going for something a bit grungier today. I've been definitely getting back into my old emo ways, <laughs> if you want to call it emo. I'm using the cremated palette and I'm going to shade Last Respects and placing that really high up towards the brow bone. I need to shave my eyebrows so don't judge me. Like. I just, I just shave most of the math. Living a wildlife, like, I do think I'm stuck in being, like, 14. Some habits just don't change. I just like to be able to draw my eyebrows in high as I want, do you know what I mean? You can just get such a different vibe from eyebrows. If that motorbike there could be quiet. Is that a motorbike? Is that a car? Excuse me, rude. So yeah, I'm just building that shade up. Just to start forming where I'm going to cut my crease. I know, I do a lot of cut crease videos, but I just think it looks so good. Do you know what I mean? Um, now I'm going to life insurance and take that up higher. Just to blend that out. Oh my god, it is sweltering in the UK. I am roasting. I am sweaty betty, if you cannot tell. <sighs> These temperatures are not for us fellow elder goths. <laughs> we pensioners of the emo years cannot withstand this kind of heat. Oh my god, it is killing me off slowly. And my daughter, she weighs about two stone and she's like, it's not hot. Oh, what? You what? You fucking what, mate? So, yeah. I'm just giving me a smaller brush and getting into hair, so which is the black in the palette. And I'm just going to take that lower down. Yeah, so she's like complaining that she's not warm enough and I'm just, I'm amazed. Cause I'm, I'm literally like R.I.P. Like I'm ready to go pick my funeral. I'm ready to go select my coffin, my flowers, and organise my service. <laughs> I have got a night out tomorrow. Well, I don't know when I'll post this, but it'll be Friday that I'm going on my night out. Today's Thursday, so yeah. I'm wanting to do sweatproof makeup, so if you'd be interested in that, please let me know. I'm sure actually quite a lot of you would be interested in sweatproof makeup in this weather. I'm sorry if you can't see me. I'm honestly so terrible with camera angles. So yeah, I'm just building that black up. This really doesn't look the best it could because I do need to shave my eyebrows and they're coming all the way down into my lid. But you win some and you lose some. I can't be perfect. Although you think I am. No, I'm only joking. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just going back into that bigger fluffy blending brush and taking that shade Lash Respects again. And just making sure that black is blended. Oh my god, did you shut up? So, how has everybody been? He's enough very talkative on my channel. Come on, show your love. So yeah, I'm just really blending that black out. And it should look something like this. It'll look better once the crease is cut, I'd say. I didn't shave my eyebrows. Um, so I'm taking my Queer Louise flat brush. <coughs> Rona. Is that true? Just putting 
can see that on my hand as always I am running out of my elf caramel concealer it's time to go stock up so dear husband give me some pennies <laughs> right. here we here we here we fucking go oh I hate doing cut creases <gasps> They just, they do get easier, but they don't get easier. If that makes sense. It gets easier to do, but the actual fear never leaves. <laughs> I'm going to fuck this up. These summer holidays are brutal, man. Washing after washing after washing. Dishes after dishes after dishes. It's just never ending. I am so ready for them to go back to school. I'm so ready. So. See, I've messed it up already. Only human, only human. Right, and then this last wee bit is the easy part. And just really pull your concealer down. And I just use my finger and smooth it out. They are completely different shapes. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to get a picture of your side anyway. <laughs> and then I'm just going to take a packing brush if I can find it my loaves there we go I'm just going to get it shade death blue which is the white of the palette and just start packing that all over where we cut our crease this white is so good it really is. All the Jeffree Star's whites are good like in Annie's palettes. For other brands that do just as pigmented shades, I know Be Perfect do. Oh my god, they're so good. I've never tried their whites. Have they got a light? I have no idea. But I've never tried it. So... That's what I'm on the next lookout for. <laughs> it's such different shapes. I'm going to press on the foot. I'd say I'm going to get a picture of your side. She arms. Do you know what? I find it so much easier doing makeup on other people. Like. I feel like you just put so much more time and effort into it that you pay attention more. Whereas when you're doing it your own face, it's kind of like painting on a piece of paper. <laughs> so I'm just going to do the Revolution Gel Eyeliner. Oops! Just painted one of my palettes. And it's just a black shade. And I'm going to draw in a wing. Don't think I'm going to go for full coverage foundation, it is just, it's far too hot and it'd be a waste of product for me to actually put it on my face. I have got the sweatiest tash known to mankind, like, ugh, ugh. I am rotting it in a minute. I am heading straight for the shower as soon as I'm done here. So, instead, I'm going to use a bit of, bit of no, not that, I'm going to use a bit of, 
the Makeup Revolution CC Perfecting Foundation. Just one wee blob of that. And then I'm going to use the Body Veil Face and Body Foundation. And just give that a little mix together. Oh. Like, the CC cream has got good coverage, whereas the face and body foundation has virtually none. So, but the finish off it is gorgeous. So I just figured with these two together, it would give me a little bit of coverage, plus the gorgeous finish of the face and body foundation. So yeah, we'll find out. Maybe do a wee wear test tomorrow um, of my sweat proof makeup. Like you know all the products I've used, or I should do a tutorial realistically, so you can see me using it and what techniques I'm using. I generally achieve about a sort of sixty percent sweat proof makeup. I wouldn't say any makeup is sweat proof regardless of its claims. It's just it's not possible. Like the oils in our skin break makeup down, so unless you're putting actual cement on your face. It's going to break down. So I don't know why they make these ridiculous claims. See, so this one is just super, super dewy. So as really, really shiny. Not that everybody wants to look shiny, but I'm just in the mood for that. So that is the finish of that on your skin. If I'd blend that wee bit in, would be really good. <laughs> really need to fix this under there. There we go. And then I'm with oh, my darker shade. There it is. F11 and the foundation sticks from Mevolution. Mevolution. Revolution. And just do a wee cheeky back contour now that it's going to last on my face. But I've also got really oily skin, so this weather is my enemy. Like my complete arch nemesis. I can't say that word. Nemesis. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? You can see it for me. Tiring, my arms are killing you. Makeup is actual pain, I'm telling you. So I just, like, when I'm going around my nose, I just kind of rub it over my nose, <laughs> rub it over my nose, and rub it over my nose, and then go in with concealer to lighten it up. It's just what I do. So uh, I'm taking my Jeffree Star concealer, and I'm just taking that down the centre, just the tiniest wee bits like that. I just broke it. Start off <laughs> and then take that up the centre of my nose. Don't know whether to set this face or not. I think a wee dust in my powder, or maybe my luminous powder, just to keep it doing this. But I'm just thinking, how long is it actually going to stay on my face? So I need to set it with something, do you know what I mean? I keep saying, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? You maybe don't know what I mean. <laughs> You're just sitting there like that, Austin. So this is the I Heart Revolution Radiant Setting Powder. Again, leaves that gorgeous glow to the skin. But 
at the same time, powders down your makeup beautifully. Which is what we all need in this weather. We need our makeup powdered to the heavens. So that is that. And then for bronzer, I'm going to use. What am I going to use? We use the Fro Shade Palette by Obsession Cosmetics, is that what they're called? Makeup Obsession. <laughs> Shade Respect. There we go. I feel like a chicken that's just cooking away, man. This girl is on fire. I really need to stop singing. I love it. I cannot sing. <laughs> and then I'm going to a darkest shade. Because we're going for a grungy look, I'm going for power. And just taking that right on the edge of my cheekbones. And bringing it down lightly. So again, just building up the edges of those, and then in. Um, just to go into my nose a wee bit further, I'm going back into Respect. And like that. Blusher, I'm going to go for a glowy blusher. I'm taking the wee Revolution, I Heart Revolution, um, Soft Shimmer Blusher. And it's in peach. This is such a lovely tone for anybody, honestly. You don't need to go mental on a brush. Brush? Fucking air last and talk. Uh, yeah, you don't need to go mental on a brush like I do. But that's just how I like it. And then I'm just going to take my good old favourite, my Mitchell palette. She'd made it. And work that into the cheekbones. Like so. I just, I, I, I need to rebuy this palette. I've hit pan. <laughs> and it's really bugging me. I can't stand tin pan. I know for some people it's a pure accomplishment, but I hate it. I'm like, oh, oh no, we're running done. So, yeah, it's a real tragedy for me. <laughs> but look at it, it's such a pretty highlighter, so yeah, it needs re bought. Rub it on my chinny chin. Put hunters in, hunters in on my face, like. Um, lips, lips, lips. Hold on a moment. For my lips, I'm just going to use Hotline by Peaches and Cream, and then Nude Patootie by. Does that wet and wild? Look how tiny my wee pencil's getting. <laughs> it's, it's my mission to find another lip liner that I'm going to use all the time. I'm going to find one. It's like I'm bugging you, Zobby, I swear. <laughs> Nude Patootie is such a gorgeous light nude and it's really grey, like a grey nude which is what I love. I seem to have lost my Jeffree Star shade Leo and this is so similar but lighter. 
and a fraction of the price just saying so I am going to go off. excuse me excuse me I am going to go off and do my lashes and then we'll do my underline. Hi, I'm back. So for under eyes, I'm just going to get into that shade Last Resorts. And bring that down quite low. Like so. I cannot stop getting black eyeshadow smudge under my eyes and I swear it's, 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 it's not possible. <laughs> I'm hoping the setting powder I put on will help because I've been really not been setting my makeup because I don't want it to start getting all cakey and stuff like mixing in with sweat and stuff. But as I said, I've got my sort of going out makeup for heat like when I go to the gym and stuff. So I'm going to try that tomorrow and see how we're going with it. So I'm just really taking that right down. I want us to be a very grungy kind of look. And then I'm going to hairs the black of the palette and keeping that close to the waterline. Like so. I'm telling you, I can't wait to go get a nice cold pink. I really can't. I'm buzzing. <laughs> you must think I've got a pure issue, man. Every video I'm like, I'm doing it. I swear I do stay at home with millions. It's just I get excited and talk about when I can go out. <laughs> so I'm just really building that back up, like so. And then I've got, where is it, where is it, wait a minute, got a lot of London stamp pen that my auntie got me and it's a wee moon on it so I was thinking a wee moon under my eyes would be cute. So I'm going to do it, why not. Oh, <laughs> cute. I like that. <laughs> and then... Just to make it a wee bit more grungy, I'm going to bring in my eyeliner into a point. I know it's like the fox eye, but we were doing it before you as well. Right, just claimed it from us. Hello? <laughs> a few technical difficulties. So guys, I'll be with you in a minute. Haha, <laughs> just see what I've done it. <laughs> so guys, this is the final look. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to subscribe and continue watching me. Um, 
But yeah, I will insert a wee clip here of the finished look. <laughs>